Peak Performance is sponsored by Milltown Studios. So today we're hearing from a High Peak covers band. The Scavengers are familiar faces at many functions across the area and have been gigging in public as well. I caught up with Victor, Nick and Dean who told me they're celebrating an anniversary. Three years we've been together now. Happily so, married three years? Yeah, we're, right. we're old now. Because yeah. yeah. no doubt you've all been in other bands that probably haven't stood the test of time. One or two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you do. And it's just, it's all about the chemistry, isn't it? And uh, some bands enjoy mm. stuff. And to this at the moment, we're enjoying it really well, you know, we're having a good time. You so know, we're great. talking to three of you. This is the three piece, is it? It's, well, it's a four piece. There's, a four, there's have, one missing. Have, there's Andy, the drummer, yeah, as well. Yeah, Andy the bear. Oh, we don't he's need the drummer, do we? No, you can't <laughs> get, <laughs> couldn't get the kit through the door. No. Good. So, um, you, you mentioned the chemistry. I suppose you all get on pretty well. Did you know each other before? Well, Nick's a very good kisser. You like to respond to that, Nick? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have, well, me and Vic used we, to work together a while, didn't we? We've known each other for years. Yeah. yeah. So, you are a covers band. Are you getting plenty of bookings? Loads of bookings, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a and sometimes slot. gigs as well. Oh, yeah, a few few bookings. gigs. Yeah, we do we do get a few gigs as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the gigs though, and with the bookings. I mean, what sort of things are you doing? Because cover bands go down so well at things like weddings and stuff. Do you suit that sort of sort of thing? We do. Uh, we've got a couple of birthday parties and things like that coming up. Um, it's it's the older generation of the birthday parties though, because it's like the seventies, eighties, nineties rock. So we get the we get the decent yeah numbers, we it all depends on who we're playing to yeah really. mm. we do cater for um you know we play anything from Marvin Gaye at a town hall Christmas party to playing I don't know rock new wave in the it's pubs, nice to be able, it's nice to be able to put things like Sid Barrett songs in as well mm. sometimes and find that people actually appreciate them and know them we had some people dancing to Interstellar Overdrive brilliant which is... was uh, quite cool. That's that's one of our numbers which has stayed in and set for quite a while now. It's sort of like um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Mm. It's a psychedelic Pink Floyd number. Mm. Did yeah, it as a one-off to see if it spin out and yeah, everyone seemed like it. So it's, it's, stayed it's, there. It's just one of those songs which um, we really enjoy playing. So it's stuck with us with us for quite a while now, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been in our set, but we do change the set according to where we're playing, sort of thing. You know. We did a so gig recently where people turned up from they'd been to the Rocky Horror or something, so they had guys in basques and suspenders and things. And, that was pretty cool as well, mm. you know. Hopefully at the next gig it might be like the end scene in Perfume. Do you, do you have to be quite rigid with what you do? Or, I mean, because people are going to come up to you at things like birthdays and say, can you do this, can you do that? We cater to the masses, really, don't we? We would try and bend it as much as possible. Like, for instance, when the Rocky Horror guys came in, obviously Sweet John's Rest Site came onto the set. As a... If we know mm. it, we play it, mm. even if we haven't played it before. And we just all know it, just yeah. know which key to play it in. And we don't know how to sing it, the audience can sing. But yeah, basically <laughs> that's what we do. You know, we have a bit of a karaoke sort of um, bit where, you know, if, if someone's come up and sing, you know, they can come up and sing, we just play the music to it. You mm. know, and it's sort of like you get the odd landlady and stuff who just comes up and sings and, you know, <laughs> we just play whatever they want, really. You it's know. all about having a laugh, isn't We'd it? We'd rather so, the yeah. gigs were fun, yeah. like a party. You know, yeah. you can go and see bands anywhere and they're just playing and doing yeah. their thing and they're not interacting with the audience we'd dress up we'd just wear anything we don't care yeah, if we, the audience do the same it's great you know it'd be like like the hellfire club or something mm. you know people mm. turning up dressed however they please the more the merrier yeah you got a gig coming up to plug yeah prince of wales 13th of february, february. yes yeah, thank you for that that's, <laughs> a, Buxton. <laughs> Which month was that's it? a buxton gig. <laughs> yeah buxton gig coming up I mean, you're on youtube as well i saw we are yeah youtube we're opening up a YouTube. little yes oh, I, sorry mate i didn't tell you about that no, oh, you <laughs> uh, we do we do um it's not me with the the, head on in is chapel it? as well um we haven't got no bookings yet but they have asked us to play back and we usually go down really well i think we played there about four or five times last year. Do you get crowds following you or are you finding that, you know... Yeah, we follow yeah. the crowds and we make them <laughs> listen to us. I don't know why though, but we, they do, you know. Yeah, yeah we do, we've got a pretty good entourage and stuff now. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. So that's, you know, so we try and make it as much fun as possible in the new songs and mm. what... Um, which one are we going to be playing? Yeah, I think we'll be doing Get Back, yeah.
scavengers then with Get Back. Their next gig is at the Prince of Wales in Buxton next Saturday. High peak performance.